Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for August 12th, uh, 2019. Um, not a whole lot of stuff to show you this week, but uh, a few good things. Uh, some stuff for uh, my local flea market. Um, I've been going there uh, pretty regular. Uh, didn't go this past weekend, but uh, um, it opens up another whole uh, different way of buying things uh, when you buy to sell at the flea market. Um, stuff that wouldn't go good on eBay uh, can go great at the flea market. Uh, I'll show you a few things. Uh, let's take a look. Speaking of flea market, uh, tools sell great there. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for cheap tools. Um, but they can't be made in China for the most part. Uh, so I got this bin, this bin, this bin, that box, and that box. 20 bucks for everything there. I'll piece this out and uh, make some pretty good money off of this. Um, wrenches, uh, they'll bring two, three bucks a piece. Just, uh, you know, it's a three dollar uh, crescent wrench. Um, Oddball stuff, I throw on a 50 cent table and uh, uh, just pile it up. Guys love uh, going through the, uh, the 50, 50 cent table. They always buy a couple dollars worth of stuff. Uh, this box back here was 20 bucks, um, but it's got some good names. Uh, here's a Snap On, there's a Mac, uh, I think there's another Snap On in here. So. Um, action. Never heard of action. Oh, there's a snap on. Um, so that'll all be, uh, that may do the snap on on eBay, but everything else, um, flea market, um, should do well with that. Uh, got a big knife lot. This one wasn't cheap. Uh, 200 bucks for everything here. Uh, but this one right here, it's a case uh, Jim Bowie knife. It's still in a box. Uh, that's an easy 150, um, 175, something like that. Um, so bulk of my money will come back on that one alone. Uh, the rest of these knives, uh, these are three of these. Uh, mission knives nice looking knives but the fit and finish is it's a little bit off um, it's not very uh, if they would have took an extra like 10 minutes uh, they could have had a really nice quality knife uh, love the sheath uh, but these will only bring probably around $40 a piece uh, a little shred this one, I forget. What is that? Um, made in USA. That is a uh, J.C. Higgins. Huh. Buckstone. Nice uh, World War II uh, Camillus. Um, it was a Mark III uh, fighting knife. Somebody bent the guard all the pieces. Um, we'll try to uh, straighten that out a little bit. Uh, but you never get it back 100%. Uh, Gerber Timberwolf. Nice looking knife. Little uh, saber made in uh, Germany. Trade old timer. There's a uh, CRKT. Uh, Casper fighting folder. That's about a sixty-dollar knife. A uh, Ken Onion Kershaw. There's a there's a buck, another buck, and uh, Camillus back here. So do them individually. Uh, another little old timer. Sell them individually, and uh, it's probably around four hundred dollars worth of uh, knives there. Uh, 
oddball thing for the week, a antique box of facial tissues. Uh, looks like something from the 60s. Countess Linda Gray by Doskin, white facial tissues, unopened. Uh, who would keep a box of facial tissues for 60 years and never open it? But pick that up, two bucks. Uh, tool lot here, it was um, 20 bucks for everything here. Got the two uh, drafting sets. Drafting sets always go nice. Uh, a uh, depth gauge and something I haven't looked up yet. It's well worn, whatever it is. Uh, some kind of uh, angle measure. I'm not quite sure. Uh, should be easy to look up. Uh, some perfume back there. Uh, 8, 5, 15. Perfume does well. Uh, some books. We have uh, <laughs> all gun related. The Bullet's Flight, and here's Book of the Springfield, uh, My Life on the Plains, George Armstrong Custer, and a uh, whole book on uh, Kentucky Long Rifles, uh, reference book, everything you ever want to know about Kentucky Long Rifles, pretty cool, um, that was uh, 15 for the uh, four books. Uh, Got a quack medicine machine. I've had these before. Uh, they bring around, I think around $75 or so, maybe a hundred, depending on if it works. Hopefully they work and uh, light up and everything. Uh, sold by Sears. Pretty neat. Uh, this is a scalp attachment. Hook that up and run it through your hair. Uh, some DVDs. Um, once upon a time, there's a limited edition game in uh, Peter Pan, still sealed. Uh, they were um, a buck a piece. A uh, little bit of jewelry. Love this piece. It's a costume, but really well made. Looks nice, too. Uh, that was six. Some Snow White and the Seven Dwarf pins, uh, three. Another uh, old piece of costume uh, that was uh, 15 for that. Looks like some kind of carved uh, flower, but uh, really, really well done piece for a costume. Uh, gold filled bracelet, uh, sterling and tur turquoise, uh, six. Uh, 925 this is a neat piece another uh, costume piece but love how they frosted the outside and left the design on the inside uh, kind of cool uh, 15 on that but uh, just unusual piece really well done uh, gold um, not gold glass on that uh, the onyx pen's kind of cool I don't think I'll do well with that uh, really nice old, it's a pendant or a brooch, um, got some age on it, nice, uh, filigree work, uh, 800 silver, um, old bracelet, uh, Tasco, uh, earrings, a, uh, Leah, Sophia necklace, uh, Big hunk of sterling here, um, unengraved. Ring ten bucks. Uh, some smoky quartz. Uh, little ring here for eight bucks. Uh, this is a good one. Doesn't look like much, but it's a uh, uh, Raza. Very collectible. Uh, I've had some of these pieces before. Uh, it's about a thirty forty dollar piece there. Some Dumbo. Uh, Charms, three apiece, nice old brooch, 12. Uh, check out the uh, necklace here, pretty cool. Some nice art glass, uh, 12 on that. Look how it sparkles. Uh, 
uh, what we got? Oh, uh, cigarette holder, Sterling in. Uh, that was uh, eight. A pair of uh, crescent wrench tie tacks. Uh, they were a buck a piece. Um, Camelback. Uh, that was ten. A stack of uh, ammo there was ten. Um, no, and the uh, fishing vest, uh, two bucks on the fishing vest. Uh, so there we go. Uh, keep it on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing. So until next time, this will Yard Sales 5 list. We'll talk again soon.